Hey there y'all. Disney D Prince here today and today I am reviewing something that I picked up today at Walmart that is a little out of my area of expertise. So these are uh, 1 12th doll figures and they are Honeybee Acres. And I saw them and I had kind of been considering getting Calico Critters or Little Woodsies for a bit, but I was kind of hesitant because the Calico Critters are kind of expensive for uh, just generally the size of them. But I saw these at Walmart and they are new and they are basically Calico Critters and Little Woodsies. They have more of a kind of a, a kawaii feel to them a little bit. And uh, this set with nine figures was $20. There is a little, like, little sibling one. And he's got like a little wagon in there, uh, which was five. And there's eight different ones of those to collect. And then I got this living room set the cozy living room, and this was only $9.99, and it's got 28 pieces. Now, I didn't pick up any of the uh, dollhouses just because I was trying to decide if I was going to get them to review them, but they do have several different uh, dollhouses. There's like a cabin, and then there's a farmhouse, and then there's a... Um, uh, like a cafe, I think, is what it is. But I figured if I liked these, so all together, this was $35, which is actually pretty good, considering uh, what the Calico Critters normally go for, which is normally like 15 or 20 for the little family four packs, which will have one of this size, one of this size, and two of the uh, parent size. Now, the Honeybee Acres does have those family four packs also, and they are $9.99. I almost got one of them, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted. And for $10, I would have rather, I rather would have gotten the uh, living room set. So let's look at these in a little bit more detail. So here is the box with the nine figures. It is Playground Pals Honeybee Acres. It's nine figures. And these are by uh, Sunny Days Entertainment. So I'm not really um, familiar with them, but these are our people that come in there. So we've got Leo, who's a cat, Pippa, who's a mouse, Calvin, who's a dog, Coco, who's a rabbit, Lulu, who's a cow. Shadow, who's a panda, I'm thinking, or, or a bear. Uh, Willow, that's a fox. Hoot, that's an owl. And Misty, that's a unicorn. Now, I mainly got this set because I liked the way Misty looked. Because you don't really often, I haven't seen in any of these series, in their competitors, anyone having done a unicorn. But here are those... Uh, family four packs that I was talking about. There are four of them so far and they're all cute. I actually didn't see the rabbit one, the McScampers at my Walmart, but I did see the other three. But we have a little story on the back and it says, meet the pals. Let's meet on the playground. A new friend is visiting from Rainbow Ridge. It's Misty the Unicorn with her rainbow tail. Lulu can't wait to show off her latest dance moves to friends Pippa and Coco. Leo and pals Calvin and Shadow like playing on the jungle gym while Hoot and Willow swing happily along. And so this is the website, which is hbatoys.com. So honeybeeacrestoys.com. And I just kind of was impressed that they all are uh, cute, really. Uh, so let's get these open and I can do an in-hand review of, of, the, of these. 
Sorry, it's been a long day and my my voice is not working real well. I spent a lot of time out in the sun today for work. So, sorry if I am misspeaking on today's video. But I wanted to get something out for content to keep my subscribers here happy. Think. So there is a lot of tape on these I've noticed so far just by looking at the uh, the box and taking this tape off. There's a lot of places because it's it's a hexagon, so it's uh, designed to look kind of like a honeycomb, and it's got these little cute windows on the side, and then it just pops out. Pops out the side like that, and that's their box. So technically, you could. There's no plastic here. Like there's. This is an entirely cardboard packaging. On the, uh, you do get a little bit of plastic back here holding them in, but not a ton. Now, there are just these little uh, plastic staples holding everybody in. Like, they come out pretty easy. The plastic staples are really easy to get to because they're right there at the neck. Uh, I say that as I encounter ones where the clothes are a little too close. They're very cute. Like, I'm. Because this set was honestly, this was the uh, the one that made me stop and look at them. Because Misty is kind of front and center. And they have cute little outfits. Okay. There's our Misty out of there. And I thought, you know, nine figures for $20, their clothes are interchangeable. That's a pretty good deal. That's just a little bit over $2 per figure. So here they are. They do have sort of flexible heads. Uh, their arms and legs are articulated. Uh, so they're kind of cute. Like, I mean... That's kind of adorable. They're flocked, which is nice, but it does also mean they can get dirty. Uh, but here's our, our Misty. But that's how they sit. And they're very cute. Like, they're very just like... Sweet, innocent, fun. I don't know how good these would be for kids, though. Like, I mean, they they say that they are for... Um, let's see what the age rating is on these. Do they not put an age rating on them? Oh, 3 plus. It does say 3 plus on these. So, I mean, they seem kind of small... For three-year-old hands and these joints are pretty uh, firm on some of them but they're very cute like our little bear guy with his shorts and his rainbow tee and his little fluffy tail oh that's too cute but all in all these have better articulation than I thought they would uh, but they're cute. Like, that is a cute little figure. And then this one with his with her little foxtail. Like, I mean, that's just... And there's blushing on these dolls. And, I mean, it's very cute.
Oh, we got another kitty cat. Like, I mean, they're very, they're very sweet, and they're all pretty, uh, pretty unique. Like these molds don't really look reused. Like the cat and the fox are probably a little bit reused. Looking at them, but the detailing on them makes up for it. But like, these are pretty cute for what they are. Now they do have a little trouble with some of them standing on their own. You just kind of have to wiggle their their legs just a bit to get them to stand on their own. Just because they are not really super aerodynamic with their big heads. Or not aerodynamic. Um, not super stable. But they're very cute. And some of them do have smaller feet, so they're not just the same. Like, this one has hooves. She doesn't have individual fingers, as you'll see. Like, I mean, that's cute. It's those little details that kind of make it stand apart. And now, I might go get a little pack of little woodsies to compare them against just so I can see if the quality is different. But all in all, these are very, um, they're very cute. Which is what I got them for. But they don't stand up real well. Just an FYI. So. If you're buying them to stage them, uh, I would plan to have a lot of them sitting down. But they're very cute, and she doesn't have really... I kind of wish she just had, like, uh, talon toes or something like that, because these look more like paws for an owl. But, again, our unicorn has hoofs and not, like, paws or anything like that. Sorry, she fell over. Okay. But they're very cute. And uh, so let's move on to this guy. And this is Baby Lucky. And he's a unicorn like Misty. And now there are seven others. There's Hootie, who's an owl. Binks, who's a dog. Moo, who's a cow. Georgie, who looks like they're either a mouse or a bear. Mimi, who's a cat. Ollie, who's a mouse. That's definitely a mouse. And uh, Sadie, who's a rabbit. And again, these are $4.99. So these are kind of the most expensive of the sets, ironically enough. Because for $10, you get two parents, a big sibling, and a baby. And with these sets, you only get the playground equipment and the little figure. So, ironically, it's probably the... Uh, the most expensive of the sets, if you're looking at what you're getting. And now it says, meet Lucky. Lucky loves being pulled around in his wagon. It's much faster than crawling. There's even room for a friend to ride along. Now let's get the, let's get Lucky out of there. And again, you just kind of pull it out. There's a little bit of plastic holding this in. 
And here is Lucky, our little baby unicorn. Got his tail, got the blushing or baby cheeks. Again, he's got, uh, he's got hooves. Are these legs movable? I think these, yeah, these legs are movable. They're just not really super movable. Okay, yeah. So, like I said, these joints are really stiff, but they're still cute. Like, that is a cute little baby unicorn. Uh, and let's take his little wagon out. Look at the quality of that. Okay. So his wagon, this lever moves, the wheels spin, there are metal axles in place on these. That's nice to see. Uh, it's a dual molded, actually this might be two pieces actually, uh, for the wagon. There's a little uh, Honeybee Acres B in there you see that wood detailing on there and then he fits in there like that and again there's room for someone else to fit in there he could be pulled around by big sister misty or even misty might be able to fit in there let's see sorry i Ugh. i pushed on misty's head too hard i heard a click and i was worried i broke her but i just kind of stuck in the wrong way so you can fit a big sister and a little brother in there and it's pulled around it rolls pretty smoothly and it's pretty cute like for what it is i don't know if these are worth it to collect all of them just because there's eight of them so this is a 40 dollar investment for all of these little uh baby ones and that's more than I spent on all this stuff that I was showing y'all. So, I don't know. Like, that seems uh, kind of fun, but also, uh, I don't know if I would need all of them. But then, all of these come with different pieces of equipment, which is kind of cool. Uh, so... Like, I would consider getting the Ollie one just for that, uh, just for that cradle, and maybe the Georgie one for the, uh, high chair, because those are kind of useful pieces to have in a, uh, dollhouse when you have babies. So, let's push them off to the side, and all of their friends... Unfortunately, don't like to stand after you move them. Sometimes. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's fine. They're just going to stand up. They're just going to lay over there. So let's get a closer look at the cozy living room, is what it's called. Again, this is Honeybee Acres cozy living room. It says it has 28 pieces, which is kind of cool. Like, again, this is $10. So, you know, this is a lot better than most uh, dollhouse furniture that I've seen. Uh, this is on par with a little Barbie, uh, with a Barbie uh, furniture and accessory pack, which normally only has like one good piece of furniture and then, you know, 10 small little accessories. So this is actually a pretty good deal on the surface. Now let's get everything out of it, unbox it, and figure out what all we've actually got. Because if you look at the back, it does show you everything kind of laid out. So I don't know if they count these curtains as individual pieces in the 28, and then the curtain rods as individual pieces, because if they do, then that is... Uh, that's 12 pieces right there, just in the curtain rods. But it's still a very cute thing. Uh, 
It says, come visit. It's game night and your friends are looking forward to coming over. And your cozy living room is all set for entertaining. You have plenty of rooms to sit watch TV, and play lots of board games. It's so warm and inviting. No one wants to go home. Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. People definitely need to leave after a certain amount of time. That's all I'm saying. And then it shows it's set up in the uh, Busby Farmhouse. And the Busby Farmhouse I did see at my Walmart, and it's 50. That's the most expensive set. Uh, there's a smaller, like, I think it's called Busby Cottage that they have where it's about I think it's only three rooms but it's only uh, 25 or it may be 20 now that I think about it but like they have this uh, living room there's a bathroom and a kitchen and then there's a van that you can get like a camper van which is kind of cool. I almost got the camper van instead of this one, but this one had more pieces. So I wanted to see, and plus this was only $10. So I figure if I like these, I will get one of the houses, probably the cottage, not the big farmhouse, unless I really like the way everything is uh, laid out. But again, nice, Nice solid packaging. Uh, this is what it looks like a little closer up. You do have this awful plastic that is encompassing the entire thing. Like none of it. So I'm guessing you have to pull out the entire plastic to get to any of this, which is really kind of upsetting. You can take the curtain. I think the curtains can come out, but I'm not sure. No, the curtains aren't gonna come out like that. Uh, so, but I mean, I understand why they would do that as far as the um, as far as the packaging I think I would have rather preferred just a uh, a really big sheet of plastic at the front because now we have to get all of this off Cuticles are already kind of screwed up today, but we're going to take this off as quickly as we can. There is not a nice way to open this because of the way it's packaged. Okay, yeah. So, this is just like, some of it is taped in. Um, some of it is just held in with tension. This is a little rug, I'm guessing. And that tape does pull off a little bit of this of this color, which is upsetting. Um, and then there's a little clock, and it's got like a little peel and stick on the back. Let's see, actually, that's like that. That's how that would go. And then we've got some candlesticks that are taped in to this part. It's funny how not everything is taped in. And only some things are, but, and again, these figures do not come with them. Uh, this is purely a furniture and accessories pack. So here is this beautiful fireplace. There is a little bit of bubbling on the sticker that I think if I had a little squeegee, I could get that out but it's not super noticeable. Uh, there's nothing on the back of it, except for like a little sticker. It is hollow, so it's not super heavy. That's nice. Um, you do have this chair, and it's got like a little uh, throw pillow. It's actually sewn, so it's fabric, not plastic. Uh, unfortunately, the chair is all plastic, uh, but it's actually solid. So this is decently heavy. So don't just like, kind of, if you have violent children, these might be thrown. But this is very pretty. Like it's, you can see the tufting of the, uh, 
of the couch, and it's got an actual fabric pattern to it. Uh, so that's a nice heavy chair. You've got this pretty little uh, palm and a, and a little basket. So that's cute, nice little accessory. Uh, you do have this uh, family photo of the rabbit family. It does have a little kickstand, which is kind of cool. Um, again, here's another little uh, plant that you can stick on your mantle. And another basket that matches our other basket. And this one's got another uh, blanket or a pillow or something. Uh, and then we've got a TV console. And these doors actually open. That's kind of surprising. I thought it would be just molded. Uh, but that's kind of cool. This one, not super great on its hinge, but it does the job. And then we have our little TV. There's no uh, like sticker on it showing like a random TV show or anything like that, so that's kind of nice. Because I know half of the Barbie uh, Barbie TVs that you get are just covered in uh, things. These are actually supposed to be little books. Yeah. And then here's a uh, coffee table. We put those uh, books on the coffee table. We've got a lamp. Like a little reading lamp for the corner. And we've got a couch right here. Again, this is a heavy molded couch. Uh, these pillows are sewn. They're not super fluffy or anything, which is a little weird because like fluff is not expensive. Uh, these are very flat pillows, but it does kind of help with the illusion of it. Um, and then We've got a little bag that's in here, and I think this is for the curtain rods, which I actually don't see the curtain rods, which is unfortunate. Are they not there? Okay, I'm going to try to take these curtains out. And do this. Okay. So these are the curtains. So we do have six curtains. So again, that's kind of cool. These are kind of a cute pattern too. Uh, I don't see the curtain rods though. Like, these are printed on, but on the box, it did kind of clearly show the uh, curtain rods. So, I don't know. I don't see these curtain rods in the box. Let me count out my pieces and see what I've got. So, we count that as six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25, 26, 26. Uh, I don't see the curtain rods. And I think that should be 28 pieces, unless we're counting these rubber bands. But let me look at this uh, instruction thing. So that's just the instructions to use those rubber bands to... Um... Okay, so this is our board game box. That's what this is. And this is the actual board game. So I guess that's 28. But I really thought that would include the, um, the curtain rods. I'm looking back at the uh, at the rest of the packaging to see if they just fell out. 
and I missed them. But I don't see them. Which is kind of unfortunate because you can't really use those without the um, without the curtain rods and they're not included. Huh. Weird. And I'm not sure if that's because you're supposed to put them in a um, in an existing dollhouse. Like, your, like the curtain rods come with the uh, cottage or whatever. But this is what it looks like out of the box, yeah. Put our little TV right over there. There, we could stick our curtain on this. I'm not sure how this is supposed to, again, I have really big hands, so this is a little difficult for me to do these things without, uh, without breaking them. But I'm guessing it's supposed to go like this. This is one of those things that I kind of wish was more of a molded plastic piece, but it is kind of cool that it's in cardboard. And the game is called Honey Hunt for fun for the whole family. And again, we're not gonna have any yet. Room, we're gonna put this right there. And we've got our three, our curtains. So, they're very cute. Can't really use them until you have a uh, thing. And then we put our clock over there because we can't hang it on something that we don't have. But again, like, it's really, it's quality. It's like the, uh, it's like the wagon that it's quality. Um, these couches are very cute. There's actual detailing put into them. You can see the different wood trims and the different wood types. Uh, this is a little funky on this light bulb. It looks more like a weird little yellow nipple, but it's still cute. Uh, but yeah, so this was $10. Like that's actually not bad, especially for miniature pricing. Um, I'm gonna put one of our people in there. And we're gonna put one of our people over here on this couch. So, I mean, yeah, they, they look good on there. Again, there is a larger size of these characters though, and that is the parents. Uh, I didn't get a parent pack. I may get a parent pack, but I'm probably gonna do a little more research on these curtain rods because without the curtain rods these are kind of useless like i have dowels that i could use i guess but like you shouldn't have to provide your own parts for it to work like that so i'm interested to see if those curtain rods come in all of the houses and the uh, business thing the little uh, cafe, I think it is. Or if they're just in the big Busby farmhouse. But, yeah, I mean, these are these are cute for what they are. Um, actually, a little, a little irritated that she has printing on the bottom of one of her feet. That's weird. The others, I haven't noticed any printing on the bottom of them. You know, we can stick our girls over here. But I mean, they're very cute. 
like these are like sweet little figures um, again these are not Barbie size like I would normally collect uh, these are 1 12th scale if not 1 15th uh, but I think it's generally 1 12th is these mini dolls but they're very cute and all of this all these characters all the furniture all the accessories still came in at under uh, at under $35 so I mean and honestly this is a great thing to get if you have a little girl that wants to keep building up something because you can pick these up for cheap if you give them piece by piece like you're not gonna break the bank collecting all of these over you know a couple of months which is kind of nice like you can get the the big farmhouse for Christmas or something like that and it's a you know it's fifty dollars so I mean steep for some people cheap for others but you know this is uh, this comes in at lower priced than the Little Woodsies and the Calico Critters. Now Calico Critters does have more variety, but I think this is relatively new, if not brand new. So there's only so much that we can expect from, I'm guessing a series one. So what I am kind of hoping for is that we do get a unicorn family. So I get some more unicorns to go with them. Cause right now I think we just have the, we've got bunny family, a cat family, a bear family, and a dog family. And now the nice thing about these, uh, these ones that come in the pack is they are not repeated in these sets. Like there's not one of uh, Calvin in the Barksters. Like, because he looks like that, and they look like that. So, I mean, you get a family, but they're not entirely the same. Like, uh, the McScampers are, like, gray rabbits, it looks like. And then Coco is a white rabbit. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. Just because uh, sometimes you think, oh, well, I'm going to have duplicates of this one. I don't really want duplicates of this one. But... It's nice to know that they don't do that with the set. So if you do get the Playground Pals, which I think I recommend just because they are gonna be your cheapest option to get the most figures, and it's $20. Like that's on par with a Barbie in some cases. Like a color change Barbie is $14.99 and these guys were $19.99. So, uh, yeah, so I may pick up a couple more of these. I may go out and pick up the cottage just to see, because I think the cottage was only 20, but I do have to double check that, so don't hold me to that. But again, these are all at full retail. This is not at a reduced price or anything, so but I picked them up because I thought, you know what, at that price, I wanna see what they're about because mini dolls have been around for a long time and a lot of the uh, doll houses that you find on the market for doll collectors are at the 1 12th scale, not at the 1 6th scale. For reference, this is the Monster High chair, or not Monster High, Rainbow High chair that came with the studio with the fashion closet. And it is taller than all of these figures. So, I mean, it's very cute. I do wish some of these pieces were a little heavier, just so they didn't uh, flop around as much. But, and I do wish they stood up a little easier, but I think that's just gonna loosen up with time, those joints. But, yeah. So, I mean, that's my review. These are pretty decent. Uh, I don't know how well this flocking is going to hold up over time. 
uh, especially since these are open on the shelves. Uh, so you are going to have kids that are going to be running their hands on them in the store and then not buying them. But they're still really cute. I may go out tomorrow and get a uh, pack of Little Woodsies to compare them against because I think wood Little Woodsies are also the family packs are like $10. I just don't know if they're going to have them in stock at my Target and I don't really feel like driving around to find them. But yeah. And then Calico Critters was sold at Walmart for a long time and they're still available online but I haven't seen them in stores in the last couple of weeks. So these may have taken the shelf space that Calico Critters once occupied. So, I mean, these are cute. If you collect Calico Critters, this might be a good way to get some extra furniture or houses for your uh, little collections. But as far as me, I don't know if I would buy past getting a house to put them in just for uh, just for fun because uh, again I don't collect at the 112 scale and I kind of just got these for the fun of it and I may actually give them to my nieces later on but thanks for watching this was Disney D Prince as always if you liked it drop a like if you have a question leave a comment and as always, if you want to see more cool unboxings and reviews and honest reviews, uh, give me a follow. Bye, y'all.